Hi there, Jamie Keat here today at Teachers Tech. Hope you're having a great day today. Today I want to show you a great feature inside Microsoft Word Online and that is Transcribe. Now just as a quick example, what you do is upload an audio file, let's say an interview, just like I did on the side. I upload a M4A file from my iPhone and then it was able just to pull out the words and understand that there's different speakers and then you can put it all through to Microsoft Word to edit how you want. I'm going to go through the steps of doing this and showing you all the different ways that you can transcribe your messages using Microsoft Word Online. To access this feature I'm about to show you, you need to make sure that you either have an Office 365 account or you're part of an education or corporation that's using it. I'm going to go get uh, signed in here just to my Office Online because I'm going to go to Microsoft Online. And once I get uh, logged in here, I'm gonna open up Microsoft Word. So you can see there's different documents. I'm just gonna go over to Word and open this up. I could do it from a previous document that I was working on, but in this example today, I'm just gonna go to a new blank document. And when the new blank document opens up, where you're gonna find this uh, feature is if you just look over to the right, you'll see Dictate. Now, don't get confused between dictate and transcribe because dictate is something that we, we've had for a while with different uh, application editors. If we click it, we allow our microphone and we can start uh, talking away and it will just take our voice and put it into the document. So it's a great feature. I'll just turn that off. It's a great feature to have, but that's not what this is that I'm showing you today. What I'm showing you today is transcribe. Now transcribe, and like I mentioned in the intro, I've used companies that I send away where even like a podcast, I'll send it away and then they give it back, but you have to pay for that uh, quite a bit each time you do that. So in transcribe now, I took a uh, just a recording that I had with my wife asking her a couple of questions and I recorded it on my iPhone just using the recorder and then I uploaded it uh, over to my computer and then I'm going to upload it to here from there. Now there's different ways you can uh, move it around to get to this but you do have to go upload from here upload audio you can see and this is just in my downloads right here I can see is my last one that I put in and I'm going to hit open. Now at this point it's going to be uploading this was about a 30 second or so interview I believe there's just two of us talking and it's going to distinguish distinguish the differences between who's talking and then I can go through and put names to those after you can see it's uploading here and then it will be ready to go. So during that process too, it uploaded it to OneDrive. So I'm gonna have a copy of that and I'll show you in OneDrive later that uh, that M the file that got uploaded is gonna be there so I can easily access it there. I could listen to the interview, I could play it here. Hi Kathy, I'm just wondering. And then it will go through, I can see how long it is. Now we have the notes right here. I asked my wife, I said, hi, Kathy. I was wondering what your favorite type of dog and it distinguished the different types. Now at this point, I can go through and make edits because sometimes you're gonna see mistakes, uh, the odd mistake in these and I actually don't really see uh, any, maybe some punctuation. But if I go through and I could hit uh, edit the transcript in here, I could edit at this point or I could put it into uh, the document to edit it too. But I can give names. So if I knew this was me and I could add the question mark here, but I'll just hit the there. And you can see how I can go through and start to edit the speakers. And I knew this was Kathy and I'll go through and just make a quick a few adjustments here. And this was me again. And this is what I really like is how it breaks down this at different points and you can go through and you have your different speakers in there that you can name even if you had more. Now at this point, if I hover over, you can see where the edit was through here. I could add it individually to my document like this. If I click here and it goes over, and I can go, so if there's one big chunk maybe that you've taken and you just want one part of it, you can put that into a document. 
or the other thing you could do at the bottom you notice it says add to at, at all so we go through here and it even gives a link to the audio file and you can see it's actually in my OneDrive uh, where the file is and I can go through and edit it at this time uh, through Microsoft Word so this is a great feature if you're recording a presenter or a lecture or doing an interview and you want to try it transcribe it bring it into Microsoft Word online uh, it's not on your app that you have loaded up on your desktop yet but I uh, hear that's supposed to be coming but it's a, a super fast way to do that now I want to show you the other way that we can do this and we we can record right from it. So I'm just back in a new document here and I've gone over the upload audio which is a great feature but the start recording option is great too especially if you're in a lecture uh, and you're taking notes at the same time so if I go ahead and hit start recording uh, I could be taking notes over here uh, on my keyboard and I can be listening to someone recording it so I can pause it at any time uh, if they're not talking or if I just want to pause it and then put it back on hit the recording again and then it's going to go back to recording and then we can save and transcribe now so it's going to upload this to OneDrive just like it did with the other audio file and then we're going to have this new file where maybe it was the lecture going through and you can see it's taking the notes uh, here and we can add them just like I showed you before we can go through and do all the same things with editing so I think this is a great feature inside Microsoft Word online remember it's not on the desktop app yet but if you're using the online uh, take advantage of this for transcribing uh, long uh, maybe even a podcast or different things that you need chunks out and you can put it into Microsoft Word and edit from there and as I mentioned before, all your audio files will be in OneDrive. So if I just go up to here to see all the apps, you notice OneDrive, I'm gonna go inside of there and you have a folder that got created called transcribe files so i'm just going to open this up and these are the different files that i did today uh, that got uploaded so i hope you like this tech tip this week i know i'm going to take advantage of this transcribe feature on microsoft word online uh, let me know what you think uh, if you're going to take advantage of this too thanks for watching this week on teachers tech i'll see you next time with more tech tips and tutorials